For Healthy Choice Management, ticker HCMC, we are all impatiently waiting for a court decision about their court case versus Philip Morris. We all want to know when we can expect a verdict. This is going to be a quick update on the court case, on the status of HCMC stock and the stock security details. But remember, OTC stocks like HCMC are highly risky, so I only invest money in OTCs that I can afford to lose. High risk can also mean a high potential reward. But remember, this is not financial advice and for entertainment only. Hi, investing friends. This is Lynn and welcome back. So let's go a review HCMC's latest news. But first, if you could give this video a thumbs up and return for all my efforts analyzing this stock, it would be greatly appreciated. And while you're at it, subscribe to our newsletter. See the link in the description below for more videos like this one so you can be notified before they come out in our upcoming investing classes. Unfortunately, regarding the lawsuit, there is no deadline, which means we have no way of knowing when the judge will decide on this case. Lawyer Jossum Sauce gave an estimate based upon past decision timeline averages for a decision on this case in late October to early December. When it comes to an estimate, YouTube channel Jossum Sauce, who is a lawyer, is our best bet to give an opinion. I did find this post on Twitter that went into HMC's response to PMI. There have been some interesting developments though recently in looking at HCMC's amended complaint. They responded to a lot of the things that PM was saying against them. And here they could talk about Michael Diebel, PhD, who holds a doctorate in physical chemistry and whose analysis concludes that based on the testing analysis I performed and my review of the technical literature, the IQOS device causes combustion of a heat stick tobacco product when it is operated in accordance with its instructions for use. In its opposition, PMI's only challenge to the plausibility of HMC's allegation that based on Dr. Diebel's analysis that the IQOS system initiates a combustion reaction is that Dr. Diebel concedes that he did not test an actual IQOS device. But PMI's assertion is demonstrably false. Dr. Diebel made no such concession and did in fact test an actual IQOS device using commercially available IQOS heat sticks, which eviscerates PMI's sole challenge to the plausibility of HCMC's infringement claim. As set forth throughout his declaration, Dr. Diebel's analysis was based on tests that I conducted on the IQOS device in my laboratory. Goes, my testing and analysis indicates that operation of the IQOS device results in combustion of heat stick tobacco products. And he goes in here with more detail. Then he says, HCMC's amended complaint alleges that the IQOS device initiates a combustion reaction based on results of its own testing and not on PMI's admissions to the FDA. As a result, HCMC's reliance on Exhibit J has been expressly disavowed. It is a legal nullity and it should not be considered by the court when assessing the plausibility of the assertions made in HCMC's amended complaint. Then, the other complaint from PMI against HCMC, HCMC and investors, executive and board members sold millions of shares during the artificial spike in value of HCMC shares. PMI's attorneys responded to this court case that these factual contentions have evidentiary support. But the public records prove that not a single officer or director of HCMC has sold a single share of common stock since the complaint was filed. So this is excellent evidence that I found posted on October 26th that will help us to understand the direction of this case. But as Jossum Saw says, the judge could drag out this decision as long as he wants to. In the meantime, the stock has been trending down per their stock chart, despite the fact that short sellers are showing a reduced interest in the stock. This one year chart shows a big spike in price on February 11th to a high of 0 0.0065 and after a trend down, another large spike in May. 
And you can see in this chart the trending direction over the past year. Then you can see on the 10-day chart that the stock was bouncing off a base of 0 0.0005. But per this OTC short report, you can see by the numbers here, the percentage of volume shorted is still of a concern. We are still looking for that short squeeze when the court decision comes out, which we're hoping will be in HCMC's favor. This market watch slide shows a close to 60,000% gain for HCMC over the past year, then a pullback over the past three months to little change over the past month. Let's look at HCMC security details to gain further insight into this stock. HMC has a small market cap of 185 million shares with a huge amount of 39 million outstanding shares and an enormous $7 billion float for a stock of this size. On a more positive note, per this NASDAQ slide, HMC is showing a good amount of institutional owners and shareholders. 12 institutions have filed 13X type forms and hold a total of 235 million shares. These are not many shares overall with a total of 0.07% ownership in this company's stock. But it's great to see that institutions are taking an interest in HMC. You can see that a previous investors hold zero or one share. The largest institutional shareholders in HMC include Fine Marks National Bank and Trust, Kovac Advisors Inc., Cap Trust Financial Advisors, and White Lighthouse Investment Management Inc. FYI, major shareholders can include individual investors, mutual funds, hedge funds, or institutions. I always love hearing from you. So please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about HCMC, the lawsuit, or about any other stocks that you are liking right now. Also go here to view our original deep dive video on HCMC and our penny stocks under $1 playlist.